In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to hit the red rank in Valorant, the rank that everybody wants to get to, yet only 1% of players have been able to, and it's not as hard as you think. There are just a couple things that are holding you back, which I'm going to cover in detail throughout this video. Now, this isn't gonna be your typical tutorial video where I just talk about things that you already know, like crosshair placement, movement, and playing the game more, as sitting and practicing for countless hours and grinding the game every single day is not realistic for a lot of you. So if you wanna hear that recycled nonsense, then go ahead and watch one of the other 300 tutorial videos on YouTube, because instead, I'm gonna cover the things that I did that allow me to actually get better at the game without sitting and playing countless hours a day, and how you can do it too. Now, just like you, in order to improve, I watched tons of guides on crosshair placement, movement, game sense, and everything else you could think of. And while they did help, I still couldn't seem to improve at the rate that I wanted to. There were some things that were still holding me back. Important things that didn't seem to be in any of the guides that I watched. No matter how much I learned, I still seemed to be extremely inconsistent. Some days I was playing great, and other days I couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. But why was this? Well, there was a couple reasons for it, and the first problem that I found was that I would play the game just to play the game. Every single round, I would play reactively instead of intentionally, and it would get me killed. Now, how do you fix this? Well, you need to start actually thinking while you're playing the game. This means you should be going to every single round with an actual game plan on what you're gonna do and execute on it. And you may have heard this before, but I'm gonna dive a lot deeper on this topic. At the beginning of every single round, you need to be using that time to come up with a plan of what you're gonna do. And you should be communicating this with your team. And I bet you're thinking, Dylan, I already do that. I know, but listen closely to what I'm about to tell you. Let's say you're attacking on Lotus. You decide that you're gonna push C and you're gonna pre-aim the common angle outside of main and take the site by flashing in and having your team entry for you. And you communicate that with your team. That's great. And I bet you do that all the time, but it's much deeper than that. You had a plan, but you didn't plan for everything. You need to be thinking about every possible scenario that could play out, even what's already happened throughout the game and make a plan off of that. Think about all the corners that they could be in, the utility that they could use, the angles that they could hold, and the corners that they could swing out of. Every single one, not just a couple of them. And you need to picture it in your mind as if it's already happened. That way, nothing can catch you off guard since you've already pictured it in your head, which means that you are prepared for it. That's step one. Now keep in mind, there will be times when the plan you've come up with is faltered, and that's okay. When this happens, you need to adapt to what's going on, and while you're rotating or dealing with the problem, come up with a new plan and execute on that. Now while you're doing this, you need to take into consideration what just happened and ruin your plan in the first place, and then start to think about where they could be given all the information you now have, every corner they could be tucked in, where they could be pushed up to, the angles they could be swinging, and anything that could happen, and then prepare for it. And that is step two. Now for step three, after the round has ended, use the information you just got from the enemy in terms of what they did and how they reacted to your plan and use it for the next round when you come up with your new plan. A little bit of a side note here, when you're coming up with your plan and adapting on the fly, think about what you would do in certain situations and use that to your advantage to predict what they might do as well. This can be especially useful in clutch situations or when you are down in numbers. You can use it to come up with the best plan of attack on how to isolate 1v1s and get free rounds. If you do this properly, you will never soft clear angles or forget to check a corner, and you will be able to predict everything that has happened as you have already played it out in your head and you know exactly what to do. If you don't do this, you're gonna find yourself walking in blindly and dying for no reason, simply because you weren't thinking. This happens all the time, and most people just call it autopiloting, which is very easy to correct. It just takes some conscious thought and being mindful of everything that's happening and never doing something without a reason. If you do this every single round you play, eventually you're gonna become so dialed in that you never get caught off guard again. Playing on autopilot can be one of the biggest reasons you're inconsistent, mainly because some days you're actually dialed in and thinking about what's going on, and some days you're just running it down and not adapting to what's going on around you. This can happen for a couple of reasons, whether that's because you've had some bad games, you didn't sleep properly, or something in your life is stressing you out. Whatever it is, it's causing your mind to wander 
and is making you play reactively instead of intentionally, which is why you are making stupid plays and getting caught out. If you find this happens to you a lot, it's probably because all you do as a hobby or a de-stressor is play Valorant or other video games. And that's one of the worst things you can do. You need to have healthy habits outside of the game if you want to play at your best. So you need to be exercising routinely, eating a well-balanced diet, and making sure you get enough sleep every night. This gets overlooked way too often, yet it is crucial for performance in anything you're doing, and yes, that includes playing Valorant. If your mind and body aren't performing at their best, how the hell do you expect to play at your best in-game? If you start taking care of yourself, you're going to find that you start playing a lot more consistent, your mental will be better, you won't get tilted so easily, your aim's going to feel crispier, and you'll be able to focus and think a lot more clearly, because you aren't always rotting away at your desk. It might not be talked a lot about in the gaming community, but it should be. And it's one of the biggest reasons why I'm able to play at a high level without playing half the hours other people do. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, it means you're actually serious about hitting Immortal, which is good, because the next tip is going to get you there. You've probably been practicing a lot, yet you don't seem to improve very quickly, and that is simply because you are practicing wrong. You need to be doing something called deliberate practice, which is simple and is key if you actually want to improve at a rapid rate. Instead of practicing everything all at once, you need to be working on one problem at a time and give it all of your energy and your focus until you actually fix it and then you can move on to the next issue that you have. In order to do this, you're going to have to VOD review one of your games, which is something you probably already do. However, you're making this one crucial mistake when doing it that's holding you back. When you go to review your VOD, watch for your mistakes and write them all down. And while doing this, every single time you see a mistake being made more than once, Put a star beside it. Once you're done this, take out another piece of paper and order all your mistakes from the one with the most stars all the way down to the one with the least stars. Once that's done, you're going to know exactly what you need to improve, order from the most important down to the least important, allowing you to improve your biggest mistake first and then going down the list, improving what's actually holding you back instead of the things that aren't. By working on your issues one at a time, you can put all your effort into each one instead of spreading your energy across all of them. This will allow you to improve them much more effectively and efficiently. If you don't and you try to improve them all at once, you most likely won't get anywhere and if you do, your progress will be minimal at best and that's why you've been practicing so much and it feels like you're not getting anywhere. So instead, start working on them one at a time and your progress will shock you. And now that you know exactly how to identify and fix your mistakes at a rapid rate while also playing more consistently in game, there's one thing you need to start doing to make sure that not only your mind is more consistent, but your aim is as well. And that's to warm up properly. Now there are tons of ways for you to warm up properly. However, just jumping into a TDM or deathmatch won't cut it. You need to understand that some days your aim isn't going to be as good as others. And in order to make sure that you're always playing at your best, you need to give your mind and body ample time to warm up and connect to your mouse before you hop into a game and if you want to optimize your warm-up and make sure that you hit your shots every single time you play go ahead and check out this video next 